Is anybody there? It's gone live now. Okay, is anybody there? I'm really sorry about what's just happened. Is anybody there? Hello? Hello, Rosemary. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you. Thank goodness. Listen, I'm so sorry. We had a we had a little bit of a hiccup, but not a problem. It's all sorted. So um, these things happen. They even happen on terrestrial television. So there you go. Now they're happening with us. But, Listen, no, it's all right. Martin's saying it's his fault. It wasn't his fault. Well, let me start again now. Okay. Today, I've, I've, done, I've done loads of things today. I've done marmalade, loads and loads of marmalade, using these lovely, lovely kilner jars. Seriously, really pretty. And this is my marmalade. Let me show you. It's all lovely. Look at that. Oh, it's delicious. And I like to cut thick cut. Not too. There we are. That looks so lovely. Look at that. That is real marmalade. It's lovely. I think marmalade makes the most beautiful, beautiful present for anyone. Lovely to take a jar of homemade marmalade. When you, when you go out to dinner, what could be nicer? Than to take that. I'm just going to put this back on because I, I put one of these little things on and I thought they look so pretty. Now, I've also been, I've been terribly busy today with one thing. I didn't want to go out because, well, well, several oranges are in season. Also, oranges. I've been dehydrating a dehydrator, uh, doing things like oranges, apples, uh, fennel, lovely fennel. And it's the most Sahara dehydrator. I absolutely love it. You can do so much. Even I had some soda bread left over and I crisped up the soda bread, which is so good, so good. Um, and when it gets, starts to go hard, it's such a great way to use your soda bread up so you don't waste anything. Now, oh, it's just going to take that other way. Right, Jamula. So what is Tamula? Now, I thought I'd do it this evening. So if you're coming on for the cook along on Saturday, it's obviously so much nicer to make it yourselves. So much nicer. But you could buy Tamula powder, Tamula paste, Tamula anything. It's North African. Now, there are two different types. Oh, get this marmalade out of the way. There are two different types of Tamula. You can get the red one, which is made with some smoky paprika, paprika, which is what I've got, which is really is a red, red one. Or you can get the green one, which is done with lots of parsley and coriander. I'm putting some parsley in, obviously, I mean, some coriander, no parsley, because it's not necessary. Now, um, shallot and ginger. So obviously, this is quite spicy. Now, I have doubled the quantity. The reason why I've doubled it, I think... You know, there is no reason why if you're going to do this, you might as well do it lots because you can keep it for so long in the fridge that actually can go on so many different things. So I think it's a really good thing to do. So I was just waiting on my chair for everything to be done earlier. So I will get up now. Processor. Now, the other thing is, if you haven't got a processor, please do not worry because you can very, very finely pester and mortar. Um, your, I'll put this in now, the ginger, the garlic, all right, I've got some shallots here, I like garlic, I'm going to put quite a lot of garlic in, and actually I like ginger, you, you can put whatever you want in it, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to roughly chop, there we are, the lovely shallot, and I'm going to put in, there we are, perfect, now, I'm going to put in, this, so I've obviously doubled that. So I've done two shallots. I've done four centimeters of um, of uh, of the actual ginger. I'm just bunging that in now. First of all, before I add anything else, I'm going to just turn this on. It's good to get it. It's good to get it fine to begin with, and then you can start it up. Right. There we go. Now. All you're going to do now is I'm going to add, okay, first of all, I've got some turmeric here, which I love, which is obviously there for the colour. Oh, I've got another another piece of garlic in there. Here is my cumin. So 
So I'm going to put cumin in, brown cumin. Right, I'm now going to put in, uh, I'm going to put in, this is cayenne pepper. Now, it is quite a lot. Look at that. It's two tablespoons, so I might just <laughs> leave it out a little bit of it. So now I'm going to put the smoky paprika, sweet smoky paprika, bung that in. So this is going to be quite spicy. I've now got some lovely puree, some, um, there we go, some tomato puree. Right, I'm now going to put in, I'm now going to put in, there we go, some coriander. I'm going to put two bunches, okay, there we go, of coriander. Right, that's lovely, gorgeous. Now there's a lot of flavour, there's a lot of flavour in this stalk, these stalks, so you can actually marinate it with a little bit of olive oil, you like coriander. Now. The coriander is a funny thing. Loads of people don't like coriander. It sort of depends almost which tribe you came from thousands of years ago, <laughs> literally. Right. I'm now going to put in honey. Right, this lovely, this is my lovely Billington's honey, which comes like this. I absolutely love it. I like to use it so convenient. It really is so convenient. A little bit more. Keep going. Keep going. Perfect. I'll come back to more if I need it. Right, we're now going to put in some rapeseed oil. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bug it all in. So, push it in, we're getting there. Right, now the most important thing here for Chimula, it's lemony. So, first of all, I'm just going to leave it just to make a mush. I've got the juice of six lemons, because I've doubled it. There will be three lemons in your recipe. Right, I'm now going to pour in half the lemon juice. <laughs> That's so good. Right, I'm now going to literally take this. This will last me quite a long time. Oh, this is my magic mix. This is my magic mix. Right. I'm just going to taste it. Hi. Right. Oh, it's delicious. It's chilly, it's lemony, but I'm going to put a little bit more lemon in. I need salt in there. <clears throat> it's quite chilly. I'm warning you now. Right, I'm going to put in salt. Right. I'm now going to put a bit more lemon. I'm not going to put that extra bit of cane in there. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely perfect. That is the most wonderful marinade. I want to show this to you. Oh, that is so delicious. Right, here we go. I'm going to pop it in here. Actually, I could probably do the smaller one, to be honest. But this will do for the moment. This will go well with lamb, with anything, really. Right, here we go. Yeah, there was a question of what type of dishes uh, right, chicken, fish, lamb, pork, anything. Um, I'm doing it with, uh, 
It is a vegan, it is with cauliflower, but I'm also doing it chicken breast as well. So those who obviously are vegan and vegetarian, they don't do the chicken breast. But those who want to do the chicken breast, do the chicken breast. Because I'm doing roasted chamula cauliflower, which is using this. That's absolutely lovely. Right. So, oh gosh, for quite a long time, for about, I would say, at least three weeks. Right, that's my phone. Okay, let me just do this, let me show you. Right, now, here we go. So I've made a terrible mess. Oh. Yes, a recap. I just want to clean this, actually. I need to clean this up. Hang on. I'll do that. Okay. Right. What we've done is... Yes! Freeze like a dream. Okay. Freeze like a dream. And the other thing I quite like to do is put a little bit of oil on the top, like that. And it preserves it even more. Let me just get a bit more oil so I can show you. Hang on, oh, give me it. Right, I use olive oil for this because it's better. Okay. Right, and that preserves it. That stops anything getting to it. In we go. And there's my paste. Isn't that lovely? Now that is utterly delicious. It's red, which is what it's meant to be. Um, it's delicious. And it's worth having in your fridge. And it'll go with so many things. Lamb, delicious with lamb. So that's your chamula, your North African chamula paste. And I hope you love it. Okay? So I hope you do that for this weekend. If you don't, if you haven't got time, don't worry about it. Just buy it. But it's so easy to do. It really is. So what I did was... I processed the garlic, the ginger, the onion, the coriander, bunged it all in. Then I added all the spices, turmeric, cayenne, cumin, and smoky paprika. Then I added the honey. Then I added some tomato paste. And then I added the, um, the uh, rapeseed oil and not all the lemon juice, not all because it didn't need it but that's what's left. So, and half a fresh chili. So that's what I've done. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Now I hope you're going to come to the cook along and I will see you on Saturday with your homemade chamula paste. It will be on your um, Facebook live so you can go back to it and see what I've done. Okay, listen, I hope you're okay. I hope you're having a lovely week and see you on Saturday. Bye for now, bye.